Welcome to the ninth Leica GS07 quick start video. This video focuses on staking a point within Leica Captivate, starting with an introduction to the Stake Points app. To begin, let's make sure that the Leica sample job is active in the center of the home screen and then enter the Stake Points app from the app carousel. We are then presented with a split screen view. On the left we see text which initially is simply the point that we are staking and height information. On the right, we see a graphical view providing the directions that we need to navigate to our chosen point. We should now look at how to set up this graphical view and decide which point we wish to locate. We set our stake view by first tapping on the view icon for I and then by picking our stake view style. We can have a basic 2D plot as currently shown or a 3D version of this where we set the zoom, rotation and angle ourselves or a special navigation 3D view where the view automatically pans and rotates such that it's always following us much like a car's navigation system and then finally there is a traditional stake view where we simply see large directional arrows and numbers on screen. We'll actually select this traditional view for now. With our view set we can pick which point we want to stake. We do this by clicking into the point ID field where we are taken to a points list with a 3D viewer. We can access the viewer and select one of the foundation points to stake, for example, point 3012. Next, let's look at how we navigate and store. In order to understand the directions, we need to understand their orientation. Thankfully, this is displayed for us at the top of the screen. Here, our directions are orientated to north. Knowing this makes the directions easy to follow. These take the form of arrows and numbers telling us to go forwards, backwards, left, right, or up and down. As we move around, the directions instantly update, allowing us to navigate towards the point. As we get close to the point, the view automatically switches into a bullseye target, allowing us to more easily fine tune our position and stake the point. Once we get within the stake limits, which can be modified in the app settings on the second level of function keys, then our arrows actually change color from orange to green. When we're happy with our position, we can press measure to have the position stored, creating a record of us staking this point and how close we were. This information can be exported into a report, which is what we'll look at in the next video. For now, we'll move on to the next point by pressing OK from our results panel, where we are taken back to the stake points app and can see that the next closest point has automatically been selected for us. We could continue to stake this point or we can manually select a different point which is exactly what we'll do here. We'll now deliberately stake the next point inaccurately outside of the limits and learn how Captivate handles this. If we press measure whilst our arrows are still orange we get an error message telling us that we are outside of the limits. It tells us our position and height differences and asks what we want to do. If we press OK to continue storing, then the point record is stored and presented to us. As before, pressing OK from here will return us to the Stake Points app with the next closest point automatically selected. Now, it is advised that we continue staking a few more points on our own to get used to the process. This can be done without the video, so this video will actually come to a close. Thank you for watching. <laughs>